walk into Safari Vision OS on Apple Vision Pro. Whoa! Kimchi disappeared! Oh my god, look, I'm in Atom Greece. This apocalypse. Give me away, go away! Give me away, go away! Tap this VR icon. Wow! Full 3D 360 virtual tour in 8K quality. Now I am inside St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican City. Wow, 3D is so cool. I did not even know Vision Pro could do that. Today, I'll teach you how to unlock Apple Vision Pro Safari browser to have full web XR support. So you can play photo realistic immersive shooting games like this directly on your Safari and many more amazing web XR application free on the internet. Safari is your gateway into the open source metaverse, the one that is not controlled by meta and the one that Apple don't want you to go. So Apple lock it, but I am going to teach you how to unlock it in this tutorial. If you are a virtual tour creator, 360 photographers or videographers or web XR developers who want cross-platform immersive 2D support on Vision Pro, MetaQuest, and even a regular iPhone browser, and you hate to learn Unity or Swift, this is also the video for you. I will explain both Web VR and Web XR on Safari Vision OS and compare it to the MetaQuest 3 right here, the native Web XR browser. Lots of juicy knowledge to help you understand Vision Pro in the world of open web. But before that, let's learn how to unlock it. Tap your digital crown right here and go into settings, select apps, pick Safari right here, scroll to the bottom and select events right here. Because we are advanced users, we don't just buy stuff because they are expensive, we want to realize its true full potential. Now keep scrolling to the bottom of the windows and select feature flags. Under experimental XR feature, enable web XR device API and web XR hand input module. Under WebKit feature flags, enable web XR augmented reality module and web XR game packs module. Now you can exit setting and restart your Vision Pro Safari browser. Easy, right? Now it is the fun part. I built a web XR application during the weekend just for you to test some of the experimental feature after you unlock your Safari. There are thousands of metaverse applications and games out there that allow you to fully immerse. We wouldn't be able to cover them all here. So we focus on my application on 3D, 360, and VR 180 photos and videos viewing on web XR. These are the missing feature right now in the Vision OS native apps that we can bridge the gap with Safari-based web XR application. YouTube VR is also a web XR application. For example, can we watch an immersive 360 video now on YouTube? Well, unfortunately, no or not yet. YouTube VR is not even working correctly on MetaQuest 3 right now on the web XR browser but you can host your own 3D 360 or VR 180 media on the internet and have them play back correctly on MetaQuest 3 and Apple Vision Pro. Let me show you now. Go to this URL right here on your Safari Vision OS app inside your Vision Pro, link in the description down below. You will see this landing page. Let's examine immersive photo first. If you are a virtual tour photographer, you might be very familiar with this concept. It's very much like 3D Vista or Panel to VR virtual tour inside MetaQuest 3, except it don't really work correctly on Vision Pro at the moment. So I coded my own web XR virtual tour platform. It's actually easier than you think and very fun to do. If I can do it over the weekend, you can too. If you are new here and want to learn, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and be a smart creator who know how to code and spatial computing. Let's start with a full-blown application. Click the GitHub build right here. If it greet you with the Los Angeles in double rainbow, 
the source photo is in extremely high resolution. We need to compress the photo a lot to fit on the free hosting on GitHub. It is still an 8K Immersive 360 photo. Let's go into Immersive mode by looking and tapping right here in the VR glasses icon in the bottom right corner. Safari will ask you to provide permission twice and go into full Immersive mode. Please be aware of your surrounding especially your attached battery right here so you don't you know, yank it to the ground when you turn around and look at the 360 environment. You can see Los Angeles here still flooded after the crazy rain in the past couple of days. This in detail right here like this, you wouldn't be able to see on a regular web page or on a mobile phone. It's just show you how powerful Vision Pro Immersive Mode could be if you give it a very high resolution immersive photo. Now, tap the digital crown to get out and go visit Atom, Greece together. This is definitely the best way to travel. You are at the highest point of the center of Athens. Look at your hands right here. They become transparent digital hands with a pointer. This is very different from the path through hand in Moon Spatial Player, which is very distracted in my opinion. I am pointing at right there, the Acropolis right here. It's very far away in real life, but you can still see it, which is very impressive in just an 8K to 60 photosphere. The resolution of the Vision Pro screen makes a huge difference in immersive media viewing. The last one is Lake Tahoe. This photo is 10K. Vision Pro can display it no problem. You do experiencing crashes from time to time. That is why Apple locked this feature away. I'm sure when they figure out the kinks, they will enable WebXR module for all Vision Pro users. It is just a matter of time. But smart people like you who watch this video will be the few who can experience this before it is officially available. So if you appreciate the insider tips, don't forget to drop us a like and a thank you comment down below. All these 360 photos and videos are not stereoscopic 3D or spatial. So now let's go back to my homepage and check out some other examples. Click the 3D 360 photo and then go into immersive mode by tapping the VR icon and allow permissions. This is Atom again, but on the ground, shot on the Insta360 Pro 2. It is an 8K stereoscopic 3D photos. The Pro 2 is not the best camera out there, but it still looks just as good as the official Vision Pro environment. The 3D is what makes this photo extra immersive. I mean, if that is a thing. You don't see 3D 360 photos that much on the Craft 3, even though this exact web XR application can be also viewed on MetaQuest 3 right here using the default MetaQuest browser. As a matter of fact, load this URL into your MetaQuest 3, compare them both, and comment below. Let us know what you think, which web XR browser is better. Here is a 3D 180 photo shot on the Canon R5C with the dual fish eye lens right here. This is inside St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican City, Italy. You only see 3D in the immersive mode inside the Vision Pro. You can't really see it in my YouTube screen capture. So definitely load them into your Vision Pro or your MetaQuest 3 right here and experiencing it. Fun fact, if you stand at the right side of St. Peter Bolican, look up, you see the writing of VR here. Yes, Meta, Oculus, or even Nintendo are not the first one crow VR. St. Peter beat all of these big tech companies and have it carved onto the wall of St. Peter Basilica. One technical thing I want to point out if you are a developer, this web XR application is built on Babylon JS. You can also build this on A-Frame if you are more familiar with that. Babylon JS support all popular immersive formats, including monoscopic and stereoscopic 260 and 180 photos and videos in both side-by-side -side and top and bottom formats. MetaQuest 3 support both the old web VR and the brand new web XR library with divide GPU acceleration. But on Apple Vision Pro, Safari Vision OS only support the latest web XR. This explains why most of the old virtual tool platform or old web VR application do not run correctly on Vision Pro. On Babylon JS, it's as simple as replacing this line of VR code with this line of XR code, and you are good to go on Vision Pro. All 3D now display correctly, and the XR button work with M2 GPU hardware acceleration. 
pretty sweet. If you compare the immersive experience between MetaQuest 3 and the Apple Vision Pro, you will notice still several bugs on the Safari Vision OS app, including some color shift problems, not allowing playback of 360 video inside immersive mode, and several other problems. If you find a workaround, please comment below and help me and the community out. All the VR one and the N3D360 video samples here are all able to trigger autoplay inside MetaQuest 3 in full 8K, better than YouTube VR quality. I will provide the full source code on my GitHub so I don't bore my non-technical viewers. But if you want to learn from start to finish how to set up Virtual Studio, Vin, NPN, GitHub on your M2 Mac, and write code spatial computing style, learn to build your first cross-platform web XR photo and video application just like this one, watch the next in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to build a web XR application for Apple Vision Pro now.